What's up guys, um, so quite some people have actually asked me to do a short video tutorial of how to create fog in Octane. And uh, as you'll see here, it's actually very simple. So uh, let's start with the scene. I've just prepared a, a simple uh, lawn scene, it's just grass, uh, scattered with Forest Pack Pro. And uh, the models for this, I can tell you, is uh, they come from Synecta.com, so if you go to Synecta.com, it's this one called York, and I can really recommend that, it's really good actually. Uh, with some nice stones and all in it. And uh, uh, so, let's begin here. Uh, the first thing you need is a box uh, with which you can actually add the fog material. And I've prepared a box here, you can see it's uh, just covering the whole scene. Uh, and you want it to go a bit above the uh, the grass. You you'll find out yourself. You can just move it up and down until it looks good. But yeah, you'll 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 see. Uh, so first off, let's uh, have this little box selected, and we'll create a new material for that, and that will be a specular material. So that looks nice. We have like a weird water material or something now. Uh, the first thing we want to do is to uh, take the reflection away because fog don't reflect anything. And uh, uh, the next one is we want the index of refraction, IOR, to be 1 because otherwise it will like distort the image and we don't want that, of course. Uh, and yeah, it says auto saving here. Yeah, there we go. And make sure to take the fake shadows because it will get. You can see that the sunlight doesn't actually reach the grass if we have the fake shadows off. So have that on. And to make that nice fog effect, we need the uh, uh, the scattering nor uh, medium. So add the scattering node and. Now I do this for uh, 3D Studio Max, but I suppose that works pretty much the same for Oct uh, for uh, C4D or whatever you use. Um, so in this one, I just change those to value, and the scattering value here will uh, decide how much fog you will actually get. So let's uh, start with something. Wow, that's really much fog. Uh, and make sure that you actually change the scale here because that can be really important. Um, so let's set that to a very low number. You can see we got some fog already. Let's uh, just change the autofocus here. Actually, actually, already we have some quite nice fog effects. Uh, and I did actually add a Schlick modifier to the face. I'm not really really sure what actually it does, but I thought it gave a nice effect. So let's bump that up a little bit. And now you can see we have a nice fog effect. So it's really that simple. Oops, wrong. So you can see if I hide that one, it makes a really, really big difference. See, it happens a lot. So, uh, let's just render this out a little higher and uh, let's make this like 1980. Na 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 na. Set the autofocus over here. Yeah, I'll just render this and uh, then we'll go into Photoshop. Okay, so here we have the uh, bigger image. You can see the fog is making a really, really nice effect here. Um, so let's just retouch this a little bit. Uh, I'll like to add a curve to this one. Just to make it a little brighter, a little bit more contrast to get that sun feeling. And then maybe a color correction. Get those little bluish tints, maybe a little bit more magenta. Yeah, something like that, I like that. 
And uh, what next? I found a little uh, texture on the web. It's just like a, I don't know what it is, like stars or anything. But I thought I might be using this as some nice uh, dust particles. First off, I would like to uh, just fix it a little bit. Something like that. That's better. Oops. Yeah, that's just fine. And make that a screen. Now you can see we have some nice effects here. And of course down here there uh, should be out of focus. So let's... Oh, well, whatever. Never mind that. Um, yeah, well, you know, that's uh, just some simple retouching and the fog looks amazing, so that's how you do it.